we were walking across the contest area and we see this massive display and it is so cool. I wanted to find out what, what is this? Where are we right now? All right, great. So uh, what we are doing here is we are running a CTF. This is a Red Alert ITS CTF. And this is basically, we have a ton of toys here for people to come in, hack, uh, play, and learn a lot of things. So this is a purely ICS-based CTF, and all the toys that you have here are all hackable. So like all the, this is all industrial control systems. That's so like right. what type of attacks are needed here, like protocol fuzzing and things like that? Uh, a little bit of everything, actually. So if you're looking at uh, probably the, the city right here, you can fuzz a blackout, you can have a man in the middle attack. Do an MITM, cause a blackout to probably play around with the runway, cause some sort of an airport crash. And yeah. all of these things are all interactable. Like you, you, you interact with you can, all of these you things. You actually can, yeah. And when you run the attack, like lights will turn off or whatnot. Yes. What yeah. about some of the stuff over here? So uh, what you see here, this one and this particular one, these are two uh, units or uh, simulations of units that you see at nuclear facilities. So this is something that's known as a spent fuel pool cooling system, which is used to cool nuclear fuel. And that one that you see right there is actually a centrifuge. Okay. So these are things that you would ideally find at nuclear facilities. Now you have a ton of teams here competing. Right. How many teams do you have? Actually, we've got teams coming in and going, but we've got a good number so far. It's, it's a good turnout. Yeah. Now, it looks like you have a bunch of different manufacturers here. Do yeah. each one have... Di now, are you... Are these published vulnerabilities that the teams are going out and finding, or are they actually having to like reverse engineer and look at some of the protocols? Like, can you walk me through like a standard attack path one of the teams might have to use? So it, it depends on the kind of challenge that you're doing. So the different manufacturers that you see here, um, we just want to show that there are attacks possible, uh, and we are vendor neutral. So you can attack any of them because there are tons of protocols here as well. You've got the S7 Complus that's proprietary to Siemens. You've got Modbus, DNP3, so on and so forth. And uh, for a traditional attack, one of the challenges they would have to come in, uh, we do give that's them good. the CVE IDs as well. Okay. And uh, they can follow that, do a little bit of research, a little bit of digging in, and they're good to go. Okay, so let's let's go from start to finish because that's what I'm curious about. I want to sit down and actually hack away on this thing. Do, do I need special hardware or anything like that for this? Uh, so. All you need to do is just come in with your laptops. If there are challenges that require specialized toolkits, we'll be providing them. We've, we've got a ton of these toolkits, ton of these things here, ton of these toys. So, so what can, are, what's in the standard toolkit? So let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, absolutely. So this is one of those toolkits that we give to the players. So we've okay. got a hack RF to play with the radio frequency uh, kind of attacks. The crane that you see there is controlled by uh, radio frequency, actually. Yeah, let's go check out this crane. This is this is one of my favorite ones I've come across so far. So if you send an attack in here, it will actually flip it around yeah. and move. It, so the and players it, will it, actually be able to take control of the crane. I'm move worried this guy might direction. be a little too close, might take out a laptop <laughs> in the process. <laughs> so let's go back over to the kit so you have a hack RF. Right. What else is in here? What's the red alert? Uh, this is actually an RTL SDR that works similar to a hack RF. We've got a Raspberry Pi here for one of the other attacks that we're required to do. And we've got a tiny little Teensy board here as well. Oh yeah, to simulate a keyboard? Yeah, so a lot of things going on, a ton of challenges. That's what it is. This is so cool. What is the coolest thing you've seen a team do so far here? Uh, yesterday, one of the teams were actually successful in causing a blackout. So they were able to cause a citywide blackout, take down the city. That's so cool. Can you give me an idea of like what they did? Like, was it what was it they had to flip a bit? Was it that they just dosed it? They were actually able to. Uh, they had to remotely connect to the HMI there, the controls. So the HMI actually deals with the PLC. HMI, and, human machine interface. Yes. So and the PLC is there that actually controls this particular portion of the city, and they were able to just break their way in and take control of it. And they, what would they, if they get into the PLC, they legitimately just, did they have to inject new functionality or this is functionality already already there? Once they got in, they could just turn it, it off. Uh, for this particular one, this was already there. Okay. And to get there is is probably the challenging part. All right, and we've just got hops. one team so far that has managed to do it. And that's Absolutely. not just guessing a password or something No, like it's that. not, no, it's not. It's, it's a lot more than that. Can you walk me through a little bit of that step? Uh, actually, it goes down to the protocol level uh, information that you have. So it could be, I wouldn't want to say a lot of things about it, 
because there are people still playing. <laughs> yeah, and absolutely. Won't give out any of the spoilers. But uh, everything requires a different approach. A lot of uh, digging in that's required. But for each of the challenges, we've given them with ample information, ample description. So if if they do a little bit of digging in, they'd be able to get their way through it. Yeah. Hey, and is this only for experts, or can you be a beginner and plug uh, in and start figuring it out? You can be a beginner and just come in as well. So the point here is to have some fun, right? Yep. Just go back with uh, probably a lot more than they came with. So learn a little bit. So if you're a beginner, if you're an absolute beginner, you can still come in. Uh, try out a few challenges, probably the easier ones. And then, uh, yeah. Excellent. Hey, thank you so much. Pleasure. Thanks. Is there, and is there somewhere online where the team can either interact with this or even after the contest, is there a place where they can learn more about these techniques? Uh, we actually do a lot of these things. Um, I, I, last DEF CON as well, when it was completely online, we had the same kind of setup. We had similar setup, similar challenges, all online. And this is the on what we're showing on the screen here. So DEF CON 29 had uh, the challenges running here, actually. This. Excellent. Oh, that is so cool. This has to be one of the coolest displays. Thank you, thank you. So thank much. you so much for sharing. Thank you, very much. thank you for watching. And as always, hack on.